A Cold War Spring Summer 20. Okay, A Cold War. Sammy Ross's brand has gone from strength to strength. For some people, they're upset. For others, they're like, you know what? This guy's smashing it. And I have to be one of those people that say he's smashing it. I think I made a tweet the other day um, when the show was on that I now have no doubt in my mind that Sammy Ross is building the next big men's, the next big fashion empire in the UK, maybe rivaling the likes of Burberry and maybe equivalent to the likes of Armani and stuff where it just kind of churns out collections year in year out they might not be the most thought-provoking they might not be the most innovative but he has an, a way of appealing to the mass market and still appealing to his niche and just delivering season in season and i think the the kind of positions the position moves they've done the little pivots they've done the injunction of new pieces here and there have really made me aware that i think um a cold was the truth i think sammy ross knows that what the fuck he's doing and i think he's got his head screwed on really really well and again i'm not saying anything that's surprising i think people most people that follow fashion should know this or do know this and even the ones that are haters are kind of silently aware that this guy has his finger on a post both um you know conceptually and commercially he's got those things married up really really well and he's doing god's work so recently they had a show in print works in london i tried to get a ticket for it they sent out a mass kind of communication people to kind of sign up to get tickets for it because it's a big space i'm assuming they need to fill it out as much as possible unfortunately i didn't get them they all kind of ran out but they did live stream them has he i think he's live streamed all these shows you know since the beginning which is goes again it's easy to do it nowadays because you know um we live in a digital age you can just set up an iphone and live stream it on off your instagram i know but to go to that length to always kind of catalog and archive your designs and have like a kind of you know a record of what you've done this goes a long way again to allow people all around the country all around the world to see your collection too in real time goes a long way too and goes to show just how far ahead he's thinking of the brand um, that idea is not something that everyone does so again it goes to show just how much of his head is screwed on but anyway um it was a, it was available on live stream for you to check out um i did check it out in, in parts but then i went back and kind of visited it and then looked over the pictures and so far i think he's really done a good job and judging by the review on here from vogue it seems that like they agree too i haven't read it so far but let's have a read through and kind of go through the collection and then we can kind of pick out some pieces that i thought were interesting so um this is from uh sarah sarah moa on vogue runway she, she says the following regarding samuel ross uh samuel scooped up the 150,000 british fashion council gq menswear design fund prize on the evening he'd just shown his collection which which is uh, honestly one of his best collections i think in the cavernous print West venue in london's east end ross and his popular brand of cold war need no introduction for the millions of boy followers internationally he's living proof that nothing succeeds like success um um, a leader who emerged onto the design streetwear scene after working with Virgil Abloh at Off-White and an important trailblazer for the talented generation of young British, young black British creatives who are explosively breaking through into London menswear from multiple directions. Now, he's going to want, I'm sure, knowing him and knowing how smart he is and knowing how much he's trying to position himself in a certain way, he's not going to like the fact that they've mentioned... Um, you know london east end and you know um stuff about virgin off-white already and being black in the first paragraph he's going to want within the next couple of seasons next couple of years to really rid that into his intro and have him spoken about just as any other designer will get spoken about and not have those tropes of streetwear leisure wear norm wear um estates all that sort of stuff architecture all labeled into his paragraphs and have people actually break down the work that he's actually doing i'm sure that'll be the thing but again you know, it's, a, it's an app description and isn't, doesn't go amiss. And it continues, his ambition to use the platform to set a positive example and lift the eyes of the posi possibilities of social change also marks Ross as belonging to a generation in London and beyond who are committed activists of one kind or another. Mm, I won't say activism in that regard, but I get what they mean. From staging his show in a vast ex-industrial East End London venue to which he invited the public through the to, through to the clothes and accessories he took the colors of the cement and clay as metaphor to demonstrate how the basic wardrobe streetwear hoodie again streetwear already they mentioned hoodie trackpad and parker there was a grit on the floor and dust in the air references to metal electronic wiring concrete industrial tubing in the time of brexit ah, again a product of british kids go on our education he studied graphics and pro designer de Montfort. ross feels the responsibility to redirect the collective narrative he said i started from hardship but i'm not in that place anymore i don't wish that to be celebrated i agree well done dude i want to focus on, on a more positive altruistic future i've done a study 
looking at the hype and poisoning of a cold war growing from four stockists to 165 in four years the brand is now positioning at a higher tier garment construction and develop it ushers a new price point for me but for me it's very key that we keep accessibility through the information and a brand puts out that's not just by approaching garments it's about opening the brand to the public i love that i want to ensure that there wasn't this conservative division that is often associated with bourgeoisie fashion which is true because the moment you get successful the moment you get more um, investment the more you start to um rise up the social rungs of the you know cultural elite in the uk you know we're mostly a classist society here in the uk the less you start to give a shit about people you left behind but some sometimes the marker of real character the marker of a real creative the marker of somebody that's really trying to uplift his community is this idea that they're always reaching back as they're climbing up the ladder always reaching back. i don't agree with the fact that some fans will be like oh no you need to be who you were before i love the cold war before it needs to print t-shirts on t-shirts or it needs to print graphics on random tees or whatever and spray paint them no you want them to progress. You want the manufacturing, the production, the finish, the quality, the stock is the the collaboration to get better. But you also want the ability for you to buy the garments, the accessibility, the where the stores are located, where the pop ups are in general, where the fashion shows are, what what they're talking about to be something that you can relate to. I eat him reaching back. It continues. Um, I want to ensure that there wasn't this conservative division that is often associated with bourgeoisie fashion that didn't um, seem liberal to me. So pushing forward. Um, um, it's incredibly important that there there's this circular form of communication. I want to incubate that discussion. He gave a personal insight into the meaning of the sculpture metalwork. They're clamped pieces of lead. My father is a century Martin's trained uh, stained glass artist, the only black one in that country. In the country, oh wow, amazing inclusion, the activation activity of talent. Da, da, da. Um, uh, the very generous new gen bursary given to myself in a cold war has been redirected so there's this idea of giving that's not verbal it's tangible it's financial and speaking boldly here but i wish this to be an industry trend because the whole point as we grow is that we should feed back in i want to encourage people from all other diasporas uh, to come into this space and to this kind of handshake to them and all kind of levels and peers there's benefit okay awesome um what did he say here? He made the surprise announcement that he had donated the BFS New Generation Poetry Man your previous size to an ex a Cold War intern. Wow, Eastwood Dancer, who has been inspired by his work and went on to study fashion and had his first presentation of the week. Fucking hell. Amazing, man. That's awesome. Again, actually speak louder than words. Well done, Samuel Ross, man. Fucking killer. Anyway, so he's an amazing dude, great human being. Let's see what the clothes are saying. But, 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 but these are the kind of leaders that we want in it. Jesus Christ. We have to get behind. Um, anyway, protect Virgil and Sammy Ross at all costs. These are the guys that we need to protect at all costs. Regardless of their intentions and their motives, if they're doing this in public and going out of their way to kind of, you know, surround themselves with people that look like and sound like us, we have to protect them at all costs. Anyway, so again, um, a, a far more polished look already. You can see from the first look, um, maybe a pivot away from their consumer base that they're used to kind of talking to maybe introducing more consumers maybe trying to but maybe trying to tap into a wider audience in general which i'm not um, i'm not opposed to and again i just goes go to show just how intelligent that team is and how they're identifying where they can kind of refine their vision and where they can kind of expand it to in that regard this is off look look one right you've got the jacket trousers some nice bag and some nice shoes and it continues here again. I like look two. What's my favorite looks? A couple of them. And the trainers, I think this is another good idea to kind of speak about in general. I think this kind of goes to show about level of intelligence. These shoes here, they're sort of like, um, they look like an upgrade of the Margiela army boot, I'm going to say. The army, the canvas army, sh army shoe for the most part. So they look similar to that with like a clear um outsole kind of trans translucent outsole in gray again i think that's a cool idea because it's going to be an, an easy entry point for somebody that wants to buy into the brand for the older dude or for the other clientele who just wants a piece that they can rock in other outfits will be amazing too they look fairly versatile logo less very monotone they're going to come in a variation of colors again a, a great choice to make in terms of what's available inside stores if they're priced well too, they'll sell out like hotcakes. This is my one, the one that I thought that was the best. This kind of um, high desert boot, similar to the boot you'd see with it, Etsy. That dude, 
Itzy, Itzy, Etsy, Etsy, whatever that brand is, they've got a, a stack desert boot that's sort of the similar sort of shape. Um, again, something that could easily be worn on loads of their things. I'm sure it's something that he has in his wardrobe that he's wanting to kind of upgrade. And um, there's another Dr. Martin's boot. I think it's a, a 2976 has also been given the stack sole and it looks really, really comfortable. This looks like it's been vulcanized, so it might not be as thick as a sole um, kind of shows you off the side. But again, another cool aspect of it and also the raincoat that the kid's wearing too, the tones, the colors. You can definitely see that they're trying to appeal to a broader market. This trainer here is very interesting and so are the belts. This trainer is similar to the shoe that they did with um, Nike Air Force One. So they've sort of taken the same sort of design elements and brought it in-house and made their own version similar to what uh, Phoebe Filer did at Celine with her kind of version of the Air Force One. It looks kind of similar, but again, updated, maybe a different sort of fabrication. Um, he's probably be able to do different things. I'm not sure who they partnered with in terms of the production of the shoe. It might be a completely a Cold War project or something they've done with another brand. But again, a great idea. And sitting on top of those and sitting underneath those trousers that just sit really well, nice kind of crop trousers trousers a great jacket that'll look cool with most outfits some nice um, accessories in terms of belts that you can wear just again just really really clever in how they've done things they've kind of got a harness that's similar to maybe to leaks maybe a lot too similar to me and my liking but like the tracksuit again the trainers are really well done um not much emphasis on the logo just done in a very clever way um, you have here this kind and then again after all those looks that are very much um a modern take a, a contemporary take a more polished take something that could be worn by strangers that don't know what the brand is then you suddenly after those seven looks you've got boom you got what you're used to right the the quintessential a cold war look right loads of um um loads of modular pieces that can kind of be taken off and strapped again and put over here and changed around uh panels on the trousers and stuff so i like i like that again it goes to show just how intelligent those guys are and how, how they're thinking of what they think of the bigger picture in general and of course you know these guys know what they're talking about um so again, you got here and probably a more conventional Cold War look again. I don't know how that jacket is finished, but it looks fucking stunning. I love the pants too. They remind me of the, um, uh, well, not, not not the pants. Maybe the jacket does more so of the parachute pants from, is it 99%? Uh, so again, taking cues on what's kind of going on now in the, on, in the kind of quote unquote trends, but also making his own spin on it um again a nice outfit here this gray outfit is amazing this model is really cool by the way i love I, I i don't know if they know this but they need to keep using this model that they keep using on their web, web store he's like in super super dark skin with braids he looks so cool and the cause in the clothes that they put online especially some of the bright colors like oof, it really makes the clothes pop and again it gives you an it's just a nice different feel sort of you know the same old faces you see in, in in essence you know essence again i'm a big fan of their online store and stuff but it's the same kind of model you know what i mean like i love the little bit of a change same with the a tres bien and our legacy they have a particular kind of model that they always use that kind of like um straggly scandinavian art school kid look right and i like the fact that a cold will have their kind of avatar or their kind of you know person that they use their fit model so far again really really cool stuff a nice jacket again here just again you can see the pivot that they've made in terms of trying to expand their customer base appeal to a wider owners again a nice kind of take on the parachute pants i'm not really a fan of the harness i think i've not really seen how they work really well in outfits personally for the most part but again i could be persuaded differently uh, maybe again it's a kind of upgrade on the helmet lang or the kind of margella you know that margella bra t-shirt from a while back ago but i don't know how that i think it will all look really well if it's kind of really tailored and kind of fitted on the body and maybe on a bigger dude like a givenchy like a ricardo t ricardo t givenchy model would maybe make it look better but i'm not too sure but over again like i said just really con really classic clean silhouettes nice looking materials i love the color palette as well some of the trench coats look sublime um some of the great suits like this tracksuit here look number 24 is super again that 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 look could be sold season in season out no way uh no hassle done really there a nice paneled uh jacket trousers too that can look like they, they can be um ripped they can be kind of zipped um up here the front i like the kind of front uh split similar to what Virgil's doing at Louis Vuitton I'm not too sure yeah I quite like him I'm not mad at it the trainers are nice as well I take on the Air Force One a nice bag just easily done I like this suit here that reminds me a little bit of Isimiyaki I'm not sure if those are like bike tread marks on the top of it but that could easily be done into a suit 
We look really nice as well, maybe in some lighter materials. Again, the shoe as well, just really coolly done. You know, also they remind me, they remind me of those, those uncle shoes my uncle used to wear. They're usually from Yoji Yamamoto or Comme des Garçons. You know, if you know, if you have uncles from Congo, then you know what, what, what the shoes they wear. But it reminds me of that kind of outfit, right? So maybe, yeah, Isi Miyake is probably a good thing to say around that kind of liking. And again, just really, really great colors and silhouettes overall. This is kind of cray greenish, isn't it? This kind of top here. Um, again, those shoes as well. Just great shoes. I think these shoes here are, are a collaboration with Converse. They've done really, really well. They don't look like a Converse shoe, but they are. So, yeah, I recommend you check them out. I think Coldwell did a great job, as per usual, on their runway shows. And I can't wait to see some of the stuff in store. And unlike other brands, some of the stuff actually comes online, right? They Most of it is going to be made available to buy because, you know, a Coldwell sells really well in store. So I'm sure the buyers are going to be all over it. Like, this suit here is fucking gorgeous as well, isn't it? Some of the cold stuff is fucking beautiful. So yeah, big up a Sammy Ross. There he is at the end, barefooted, all in white, doing the damn thing for the for the boys out there.